Good morning, everyone. It's September 7th, uh, Sunday morning. It's Mitch. Um, just here, a quick recap. Uh, 29-17 and 17 for the season after uh, yesterday's 14-9 and 9 performance against the spread. We were up 14.5 units for the season. We'll take it. Uh, to be honest with you, what I rather would have taken was a Kane victory last night in the uh, Swamp. Didn't happen for me. Real proud of the way the kids played, though. A lot of freshmen, a lot of sophomore for for Miami. They hung with the Gators for for three quarters, and uh, it was it was it was touch and go there for a while. But uh, the Canes uh, they couldn't get it done. Not going to score a lot of points. Not crossing the fifty yard line. Uh, young and talented they are, though. But young and talented is going to lose out to experienced and talented, especially on the road, especially against a national title contender, especially against the Heisman Trophy winner. So. Uh, you know, they, they play again in a few years, and hopefully we get a little different results. Uh, congratulations to the Gators, their fans. Tim Tebow, you're a credit to the sport. Uh, every word that comes out of your mouth, the missionary work that you do, the work that you do with your kids, just you are the poster child for college football, and I really wish more players were like you. Um, quickly looking ahead to, to, the, to the slate of games coming up this week that we're going to be talking about. Uh, Ohio State USC is the feature game. We got Notre Dame Michigan. Uh, those two teams not quite on the level that they've been uh, the past you know years, but you still got the fight songs and the traditions, and, and it's just college football. Um, you got Wisconsin Fresno, interesting matchup of t- of two teams you know that are really on the, on the rise and, and, and can make a, a real impact in the BCS this year. A couple other games out there as well, so we we got a nice slate. You know, we got an SEC matchup with Georgia and South Carolina. It goes on and on. A couple of quick words about the site. Um, those of you that have signed up for the book already, that's that's great. It's you know for the rest of you, it's free. Um, it I'll be sending it out Wednesday at the latest. Um, the rest of you will get it instantaneously. The whole thing about entering your email, that's just so I can send you guys a newsletter You know, with the site being updated. It's not going to be like a repeat of my blog or I'm not going to try and sell you anything. I'm not going to sell your email, spam you, anything of that nature at all. It's just so I can keep in touch and let you know what's going on in the site and we have major changes like we just do, like, like just happened. As far as the forms and message boards, I'm still working on that. As you can see, I've set them up, but... Uh, they're, they're not, I wouldn't call them fully functional at this point or set up. If anyone has uh, suggestions on, on that or anything on the site, just click on the About Mitch tab um, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do the best that we can to get it done. If anyone has any experience with this stuff and, and is looking for some part-time work, by all means, let me know. The, uh, you know, the video of the day uh, function, if, if any of the fans out there have any uh, ideas for video of the day, things they'd like to see video of the day, submission for videos of the day, let me know that as well. I think we could have a lot of fun with that. I know a lot of people enjoy it. So uh, things are looking good. It's a great season so far. We've got a cushion. We've got a great slate of games. We've got college football. Does it get any better than this? We're going to find out in the weeks ahead. This is Mitch, and thanks for joining me.